this is a thing. Okay. I think it was better with the overhead last time, but it looks really, really yellow. We'll just go for it. Hi, I'm Shell, and I'm a cosplayer, and I'm still figuring out my lighting setup. If you are new to my channel, welcome, or if you're a subscriber, welcome back! There's over 200 of you now, which is crazy, and I'm so grateful, so thank you so much for like joining this little community I'm trying to grow here. We hit the 200 goal way faster than I thought we would, and it's really exciting, so thank you so much! I rearranged my, my artboard this time, so all of the fan art is on this side, so you can see it, and it makes me so happy. So as you're probably aware, I recently did a video where I reviewed a pretty bad Junko cosplay. It was a two-star rated cosplay on Amazon, I got it, it was completely the wrong size, and it was actually a lot of fun to review. So since I bought that cosplay, Amazon has been suggesting a lot more Danganronpa cosplays to me. And one in particular caught my eye. This one had one star. We finally found it, folks. We got an actual one star cosplay. And you are never going to guess who the character is. Well, actually, it's in the title of this video. So it's Sayaka Maizuno. So here she is in all her glory. She arrived yesterday. And this is actually the first time I've ever seen a brown paper bag from Amazon, which is cool. Sustainable, you know? I'm actually really excited to review this cosplay because um, Happy Trigger Havoc is... no, Trigger Happy Havoc? Trigger, uh, blah, blah, blah. Trigger Happy Havoc is my favorite arc in Danganronpa so far, and I really enjoyed Maizono's case. It, you know, was the one that kept me thinking the longest, versus like, Celestia? Like, we knew. We knew what was up with Celestia. So, without further ado, Let's see what we got. You know how I was excited about the fact that the package was brown paper and not plastic? So, uh, looking at the package, I'm a bit concerned because I ordered this based on the seller's size chart. I'll put my measurements right here and in the description below. And I believe I ordered a large. Does that, does that look like a large to you? Because I see that as XXL, like extra extra large. Okay, good start. Shirt, skirt, knee socks, I guess? Yeah, knee socks. Y'all. Do I look like? The tag says large. Can you see the L there? Like, it, it says it's a large. This ain't a large, fam. The skirt does have an invisible zipper right here, which is good. Um, I'm always impressed when a skirt has like a zipper instead of elastic because it's an extra step. And it does also have a lining. It's not a nice fabric lining. It's extremely plasticky. It literally feels like a plastic tablecloth. Is the zipper already broken? Okay. It... I give up. Let's move on. Bow. Neck bow. This one is also made of cheap fabric, but at least it's not shiny and it's sewn well, and it does have this little velcro, so you can, I guess, velcro it around your neck. Okay. That actually kind of feels like my size. So it's literally just like a shirt you pull over. I don't think it has a side zipper anywhere. Oh, it does! Okay. I was I was thinking maybe it would, because this seems like something you would put an invisible zipper in on the side seam, because it can be really hard to pull these things over your shoulders. There's actually, um, this little neck piece is connected by like a button? I'm not actually quite sure what the point of that is. Maybe it's to put your head through? Actually, yeah, I think it's to put your head through. That makes sense. That's kind of smart then. Now, leggings, which are again in their own package for some reason. <laughs> okay. Um, mm. Oh, I have opinions about these. 
my my issue here lies with oh this this just looks so bad okay I don't know how well it's gonna show up on camera but this is like a weird really wrinkly white iron-on material it looks wrinkly and bad and I guess far away like in photos you won't notice but just like looking at it holding it like a foot from my face I'm not a fan might as well put all this on <laughs> Um mm. I'm trapped in another anime costume. Is it is it just me or am I the guy from like Avatar? Like just give me like some weird spider limbs and Okay, second try, second try. Come on. Just put just put your head through. Yeah. I'm gonna nail it this time. Maybe I'll just... Oh, there we go. Okay. Wow. I'm already boiling hot and I've had this on for three seconds. The skirt actually is like pretty cute in my opinion. I like the, the pattern. It's a cute color. And it does actually match the sleeve quite well. So they did that well. <laughs> okay, so when I wear skirts, which I do quite a lot because I cosplay like Mabel from Gravity Falls and Sasha from Camp Camp and Heather from Heather's um, I would usually put skirts like right here at my natural waist. That's kind of where you're supposed to put skirts. Uh, but this one does not fit. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do it like a necktie because that worked so well last time. Okay, not, not bad, not bad. And then collar down. And yeah, that works. That works all right. Do I even want to put these on my legs? I will. I will for you guys. I like to think I have fairly average sized legs, so we'll see how large or small these socks are. They're small. They're small. They're small. They're very small. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my god. Okay, I can't even fit my whole leg in there. <laughs> Here, can I just... Okay. It's on. Let's talk about it. If you watched my Junko video, you know I was pleasantly surprised by the quality of that cosplay. I kind of want to burn this one. First, let's talk quality, because I am already sweating in this, which means it's a very cheap fabric and a very plasticky fabric. There aren't many visual flaws with the costume, especially in terms of like the ribbon details, or the quality of the stitching on the bow, or the pattern on the skirt. The pattern on the skirt is quite nice in my opinion. But, kind of like Junko, the main problem here is the fit. I did order a large, and all of the pieces did come in a large, despite the packaging. But this is my arm. Why is it like that? And why is it like double the size of my arm? when the waist fits me very well. And then why is the skirt, like, enough to fit another small human in here? <laughs> maybe not a human, maybe a hamster. I could take my hamster to the convention. Why is the skirt big enough that I could, like, fit my hamster in here and take her to the convention with me when the shirt fits so well? Like, wh why is the shirt, like, a good size when the skirt isn't, when they're ending up on the same parts of your body? I don't know, I don't know. D the, these things? The socks? Honestly, I'm just gonna take it off because I hate it. Visually and structurally, it's not a bad cosplay. If I was rating it solely on like the stitch quality and the details, I'd probably give it like a two or a three out of five, maybe like a two and a half, just because it's not, it's not anything special. But they did it all right. But the fit of this cosplay is one of the weirdest things I've witnessed in my entire four years of cosplaying. Why does the waist fit, but the sleeves and the skirt don't, and like, I could barely fit my head through the neck hole, and I don't understand anything that's going on here. So if I had to rate this cosplay overall, I agree with the one star rating on Amazon. 
We have truly found a one-star cosplay. It's bad. It's real bad! I know my girl Mizuno wasn't the most, like, morally upstanding character, but she deserves better than this. If you enjoyed watching me suffer in this terrible cosplay, please leave a thumbs up on the video or let me know your thoughts in the comments. I know I already said it in the beginning, but thank you guys so much for all the new subscribers. I'm so excited to have you here, and I can't wait to make more videos for you. So thank you so much for watching, have a wonderful day, and don't buy this cosplay. Bye! I'm like concerned about being able to get my head out of this shirt. If I get trapped in another cosplay, I swear to God. Wait. Oh yeah, that's my favorite thing to do after a long day of a convention. Get me out, 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 get me out. I hate this skirt. Get me out, get me out, get me out.